Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today because I am gonna be talking about an amazing hair tool that I have discovered has made my life so much easier as far as getting a blowout basically at home in less than 10 minutes, probably less than like seven minutes on a good day. Um, so if you want to see how I use it, what it is, all the jazz and demonstrate it for you, then stay tuned to keep on watching. So first of all, it is so good to be back. It is so good to be back. Um, I have not filmed in a really, really long time. So my channel is gonna be basically a whole slew of things. It is not just gonna be makeup. It is not just gonna be hair. I wanted to incorporate a lot of things that I have learned, um, lifestyle, just lots of different things. Um, throughout the year and so I wanted to share that with you so anyway I'm not gonna ramble a lot about it it's gonna be in a different video I wanted to show you what the tool is you may have heard of it you probably have heard of it you probably have seen it um, and I'm gonna compare it to something in just a minute but it's the Revlon it's kind of like a two-in-one it's a blow dryer but it also has a brush as you can see and it's not a round brush it's rectangular and then thicker on one side thinner on the other um, it is extremely easy to use. It does get pretty hot, um, so you can hold up here, but you gotta be careful when you do use it. It does have several settings. It has off, obviously, um, and then cool, low, and high, which I hope you guys can see there. So if you have the time and you're really trying to hold whatever it is like that you're doing to your hair, um, you can go to high and then go to cool, after and it sets it just like if you were like curling your hair you would let it cool before you did anything to it once you curled it if that makes any sense so anyway I have washed my hair I'm going to demonstrate some of it um, for you and show you the amazingness that this tool is there's also a Dyson blow dryer um, I believe it's like $3.99 I haven't used it so I cannot tell you for me to spend that amount of money, it has to like be magic. Um, but I have gotten such amazing results with this that I can't imagine having to spend that kind of money. But it doesn't mean that it is not amazing and it's not good for your hair. Just personally for me, um, just more cost effective, works amazing. So let's get into it. So since you're blow drying your hair, I highly recommend a heat protectant. So I'm gonna be using this Aveda Damage brilliant damage control and all I do is just spray it in my hair and then brush it through um, but anyway I usually spray that brilliant spray before I even brush my hair but I wanted to show you um, I'm using wet brush these are my favorite brushes to brush your hair uh, because they get the tangles out and they don't ruin your hair another product that I like to put in my hair um, you don't need to put both of them just whatever heat protectant you have slop that into your hair, spray it into your hair, because anytime you blow dry or use any kind of heat, you wanna protect your hair. Um, this is Monat, it's a blowout cream. I love this stuff. I may have talked about it on this channel before. I don't remember, to be honest with you, but it is, it smooths, it protects, and it controls. And it's another product that, um, it looks like this, and it's another product that kind of cuts down the time of blow drying so which is really really cool because I am a mom I'm at work um, I have tons of things I need to do throughout the day like most of you do and so it's kind of nice to not have to spend a lot of time on my hair like I used, used to have a lot of time and enjoy it but I don't so anyway I pop that into my hair like so and then whatever is remaining on my hands I like to just kind of wipe it off Everybody's got different hair. My hair, I have apparently, according to my stylist, have a lot of it, um, but it is thin. So I don't need to section too many sections. Um, if I'm in a rush, I will just section two. So I just take a clip. If you have really, really thick, coarse hair, you might need to section um, three sections, but I like to section two. That's all I really need to do. Um, depending on how smooth and how how much time I have okay so I'm gonna be quiet now this thing is it sounds like a blow dryer so it's gonna be pretty loud um, you're gonna hear it and I'm just gonna demonstrate how it works 
So what I typically do is I'll take like a section like this before I turn it on. And my hair is kind of damp now as I've been talking to you. It dries kind of fast. Um, mainly because this light is very, very warm. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just like I am curling with a brush, I'm gonna blow dry it at the same time. So you guys will see how fast it is, how easy it is, and the results. Okay, so I'm gonna go to high setting and let's get started. So as you can see, I hope you guys can hear me. I am just, you can use this part right here, taking the same piece and just blow drying it as I curl downward. And the more volume you want, you want to get closer to your scalp. So don't go too close to the top. And that is one piece right there. Okay, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. One tool. So then I take another piece. And I'm not even like super perfect with this. And then I'll just do the same thing. And I take it down a couple times. I look to see if I like it. Sometimes I take them together. And again, if you have thicker hair, um, you may not be able to do this. You may need like really, really small sections, but my hair is pretty thin, so I can do that. There you go. Guys, how long did that take me? Not long. Not long at all. able to hear that um, then I take this part down everybody does their hair different this is how I do it I brush it back and I am doing this with the viewfinder I like to take this very this is something I, a hairstylist showed me a long time ago so this is what I've been doing so I'll just take this really small section like right in the front and I probably do not need this humongous clip for that, but it's just what I have on hand right now. And I'm just gonna clip that right there. Okay, so now I have these other sections here. And again, you can see I don't have a whole lot of hair, um, but I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to split this into two. I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna talk during this one because I honestly have no idea if you guys can even hear me. Um, and I'm gonna go to high. And then I'm going to, um, you'll see me turn it, and then it's gonna go to cool setting, just to cool it down, just to kind of give you an idea of what that does. Okay. You can kind of see I did that a little bit different and so it's a little bit straighter. Back to high.
All right, you guys, look at that. Okay, this would take me a lot longer with a brush and a blow dryer. It's just, it's just quicker, it's easier. Um, again, if I wanted to spend a little bit more time, I'm um, trying to get closer here so you can see how healthy and how nice and just smooth it looks. And then it's got that nice kind of like a blowout look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, you don't have to do this, but this is what um, I do sometimes, not all the time. I'm gonna turn it on high. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm gonna actually blow it downwards. It's gonna give me more volume here, and then you'll see. Um, I'm just gonna do it, and you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, so that was three passes and I am done with that. Um, and do you see how it gives it just a lot more volume on top? I like that. And having thin hair, I just want all the volume I can get. So then I'm going to try to part it again. Bear with me, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing this through the viewfinder as I had stated. Um, so then I part it, let me just make sure, yes, it's parted how I want. Then what I like to do, but did you guys see how it was like three passes? Now if my hair was sopping wet, it maybe it would take six passes, um, but still that is not a lot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go on low, and I'm just gonna take these front sections right here, and I am gonna actually go this way. I want them a little bit away from my face. Personal preference, y'all, however you want to do it. I just like it kind of away from my face a little bit. Okay, last but not least, if I want extra volume, I will take a small section back here. It's literally a really small section. And it, it does not have to be perfect. And I like to just make sure I get volume all the way up in the back. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just rolling it and blow drying. This thing's amazing. Um, I got it for the holidays and I absolutely love it. So that is it, you guys. So then all I do is I just kind of brush it out, make sure everything is where I want it to be. So that's it. Isn't that easy? It is so easy. It is so affordable um, for the product that it is. They also have a flat brush that you can use. I like the curling one um, just for the volume and I find it's best for my hair. So look at how silky smooth healthy. I don't have it in front of me right now, but sometimes what I like to do, like if I don't want to just leave it like this, I'll put a little bit of pomade and just kind of do little sections. But typically I don't. I will just leave it like this, have nice healthy hair. Um, I can even have two day hair with this and just, it, it literally will stay. It does not frizz. And I will just do some dry shampoo um, the next day. So yeah, I love this tool. I love, love, love this tool. This is probably my one of my favorites of last year. I love it. If it broke, I would go repurchase it. Um, and again, you know, I hear a lot about the Dyson. I hear it's amazing and it cuts the your blow dry time in half and it's good for your hair and all that stuff. So I'm not knocking it. Haven't even tried it, so I can't really say anything, but if you can't afford that um, or don't want to spend $400 on a blow dryer, this is, I think it's like $60-ish range. Um, I will list it in the description box below if you want to click and buy it or just look at it, get um, some more information on it. But it is so, so good for the price. You can pretty much purchase a, a 
decent blow dryer for the same price where you're getting a two-in-one. So anyway, enough rambling. I love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will hopefully see you guys soon. And I hope you're having a happy new year, happy, healthy, prosperous new year, and that you're all taking good care of yourselves. I hope you learned something here in this video today. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Um, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. Hit the little bell for notifications so you know when my videos pop up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.